Yo everyone, we are back of Octopath Traveler 2. Last time, uh, we did mostly exploration. We traveled most of the leaf lands here. And then after a lot of going around, we went into this cave over here. We came over here. We went up here to the Altar of the Lady of Grace, which we still need to go back to, actually. We poked into here in order to fill out the map. Then we came all the way down here, went all around. Bada, 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 bada. And then we arrived in Wellgrove, and we have started Hikari's Chapter 3, and we did a bunch of side quests here. Anyways, with that mouthful, I think it's about time we actually do some plot. Now, I don't know how today's gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna be skipping much of the recording. Oh. Are we going straight to plot? Yes, we are. Okay. Never mind. We're dealing with this first. This mission shall determine the course of our nation. General Ro. It is a great Ro honor to be Ro assigned guard duty. Captain Ritsu Mishuyo. Ritsu, oh man, our dude, huh? An honor I am all too proud to accept, General. All right. Of your humble origins, you've done well to reach your station. S he somehow See managed. These weapons delivered safely, and His Majesty will surely lift you even higher. Can we get much higher? So. <gasps> yes, General. I'll protect the shipment. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right. And here we are. So, yeah, what I was going to say is I don't know how this recording is going to go because it is very late, actually. Like, like, I mean, like my late. Usually I have like a range of when I try to go to sleep. I and that's usually at like, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just say I go to sleep at in the range of like three to four. And currently, it is 2.55, so, uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm I'm making a fuss over a light amulet. It's not like it's going to be that, that much of use. Got to be very careful around here, though. So, yeah, because of that, this episode, usually I end up pressing the pause button on my recordings, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that this time around. So, we are simply balling. We are not... There is not going to be much skipping and not much of that nature whatsoever, so yeah. Thank you for being nice and understanding. I wouldn't even call it editing, considering it's literally just me pausing a recording, but at the same time, you know, I've got to, like... I feel some amount of, uh, necessity to, like, at least point it out, I guess. Alright. Anyways, we've done all that. Uh, Tailspin? Yeah, this always does a lot. As we can tell. Catch this one. What does that one do? Restore more health. We don't need that. Give me your salad. Oh, so we can get salad from enemies, but we can't get eggs when we kill the literal egg enemies. I see how it is. This game is unfair. Uh, so I have to get down there somehow. That's an interesting one. Uh, today's been a great day. I played a bunch of Final Fantasy XIV. To the point that I got to Shadowbringers, so that's a real cool. Shadowbringers is very fun, by the way. I've only gotten, just gotten to it. And I've barely touched it. Like, I have, a. Uh, I basically got to, like, the major area of it, and I haven't, like, touched it since. Well, you know... I got to the I got to the major area and I did a bunch of plot, but I haven't done it like a single dungeon or a single trial or anything. It's just I've just been enjoying it. Like I just got there, but man is it peak. Not really too much else to say on that matter. It's just good quality content. Now let's grab some food. I also only just now watched the uh, opening theme right before what this recording actually. The reason it's so late, actually, is because I was so into playing Final Fantasy XIV. I literally finished playing, logged off, and then hopped on here to record. And then I did some quick audio balancing, which is why things might sound even more different than usual, because I had some problems. So I think the recording might sound louder in general. I was just up there. Why am I going there again? But yeah, no, extremely, extremely good content. I'm very... I'm very much enjoying it. Whoa. Okay. Uh, let's check your other we singular weakness. 
ice, huh? Uh, let's get the darkness weakness out here. I don't even know why I'm boosting it. It's not like it's gonna do much, so... Shining... Shining Justice. But yeah, I'm heavily enjoying Shadowbringers, and I only just started today, so I would say that is a great sign. And then I'll probably end up playing a bunch more tomorrow. I've actually wanted to be able to record that series. Well, actually, not maybe record. I tried to see if I could stream it, but man, uh, well, first off, I don't have good enough internet to stream currently. That's actually one of the main reasons why this uh, channel is an, is a Let's Play channel, because I simply cannot... I don't have fast enough internet to do streaming. Because the thing is, I like to, to uh, play games in longer periods of time. So I feel like streaming would suit me better in general. But it's just a bit difficult, you know? Organizing all that, it's not an easy... Not, not a real easy task, I guess you could say. Let's do it. Invest over to her. Let's just do this for the hell of it. Bye-bye. Oh, it actually took him out. But yeah, I've wanted to record it, but not only do I... Is my internet not good enough? But even trying to record 14, like I did a single match of uh, PVP at one point and it just tanked in quality, man. Like that went down the crapper to the point where it was literally probably like less than a frame per second. And I don't know how to fix that. I think maybe I need a better encoder or something, but I don't know. I am General Rowe of Koo. I come here in his majesty's stead. It's nice when I actually have things that I can talk about because, you know, that doesn't happen extremely often. Maybe that's something I should do more often is I just talk about the... When I'm going through, like, the more... Less involved stuff in the game. Where it's like, you know, I'm just running into random enemies and stuff like that. Maybe instead of cutting all of it out, I can just talk about random crap like that. And, you know, that's... You know, when you're going through a Let's Play... The, of course, people care about what game you play, but in the end, they should be there for the content creator. And at like, if you don't care about the content creator themselves, at that point, just like, well, just go watch a no commentary playthrough if the, if that's what you care about. You know, it's all about. I mean, of course, some people just want reactions to certain things and whatnot, but I feel like with a game like this, the the plot isn't bad for any of these parts whatsoever. I, I haven't been enjoying myself quite a bit. But at the same time, I feel like it's mostly... It's not like the meat of the the meat of the pie. I don't know why I use that analogy of all things, but you get the point. I don't care a whit for titles or names. Show me the coin. You got the money, honey. I got the time. It's been a pleasure. It sounds like someone you say before you kill him. Like you shoot him in the back after saying that. Almost disappointingly uneventful. Well then, load up the wagons. They will now they will now shoot arrows down on you from afar. <clears throat> Solely because you said that. Like you were the one at fault, actually. Oh shit, Hikari just pulling up. Okay. Prince Hikari. I pull up. Those weapons stay where they are. But I won't shed blood if I can avoid it. I must set an example for the future of my home. Bro, how are you going to deal with all these guys without bloodshed? Like, I'm just saying. Easier said than done, now, honestly. You'll keep your lives. Hikari. Hikari. They nope. say you're a traitor. His majesty has put a pretty price on your head. Well, I mean, Hikari is pretty, I assume, so... Kinda comes with the territory of being royalty, you know. If you do not stand down, you will face my blade. 
You don't even have a curved blade. You, you ain't even real members of Ku. Alright, uh, let's just... Uh, but of uh, run him with it. Okay, that didn't work. I need a play. Frickin' Partitio is almost fading into the background with how frickin' dark he is. Uh, da ba ba ba. Let me look at you. Ah, oh, it was light. I should have used it. Darn it. Gosh, dig it a darn. Oh well. I'm gonna take a guess and say bows. Go, go! Nope, failed that check. Ow. Can you stop? What did he ever do to you? Besides be himself. Alright, that didn't work. So, how about instead... I don't know what instead, actually. Uh, double stab ball? Nope, that didn't work. Okay, then. Deal with this. How? Okay then. My turn. La na na ya na 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 na. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we do have light soul stones, but we don't have many of them, so I'd rather not. We have a few ice ones. Let's make use of one at least. Sometimes getting weaknesses down is some of the most important stuff. It's simple, but hey, if as long as it works. Uh, maybe it was. Uh, actually, I don't even know what I'm chi what I'm trying here. Eh. This cat. What? Ow! You have a counter? I didn't even. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even consider that one. Okay, axe is the way to go. Alright, hit him with the ice. Yeah, I've been in... I don't know what else to say about 14 at the moment. It's just been an extremely enjoyable ride. I highly recommend it to, like, anyone who... You don't even have to be a fa fan of it. I wouldn't even say... Well... Hmm... It, it, it is good if you're if you're open to the idea of multiplayer, but it's not a necessity for most of it. You mostly just do... It's only really required for, like, trial stuff. Which is where you play, like, you know, you got, like, four different characters and... Or, you've got eight different players, and you all fight the same dude. There we go. Finally took care of that. The plot, the music, and the characters are all real great. Fun time. All right, bunch of jobbers dealt with. Uh, curses. L. Enough. You're no match for me. I guess he just knocked him out. <sighs> he caught he. He said it the exact same Himself. way. I see you yet live, my prince. Don't you, my Make prince, me. Here and go. You've come all this way just to snatch glory from my hands again? Hey. Fine. I'll repay the debt I owe you. There will be no quarter this time, Ritsu. No one will keep me from guiding Ku to the future I envision. A future without bloodshed. Hit him with it. A grand idea. Why do you need that sword then? Sometimes, in order to keep the peace, you've got to use a sword. Seems to me that's an instrument of death, not peace. Or am I wrong, Hikari? Well, okay, but you're stinky. Ku is the product of an endless cycle of war. It was built upon a mountain of sacrifices. So long as Mugen is king, nothing will change. But this sword will sever that vicious cycle. You tell him. <laughs> it seems you've chosen your path, my prince. But you chose wrong. You should have followed Lord Mugen. No, uh Oh, we find him instead? General Roe, you had my father's ear, his trust. 
Sheathe your sword, please. I don't want to fight you. My allegiance is to the kingdom, whosoever may wear the crown. And we are here by direct order of his majesty. We cannot simply abandon our duty. Well then join me. If you to take these weapons from us, then it will have to be by force. But be prepared to find out. <laughs> if you are going to fuck around, my prince, be prepared to find out. Why oh shit! They call me the wild bull of Ku. Yo, it's just like Raubon. <laughs> Sorry. Better men than you have crumpled before my charge. I never wanted to cross swords with you, who served my father so faithfully. He's gonna pull out the frickin' Bart Simpson. I'm gonna start spinning my arms, and if you get hit, it's your own fault. If you insist on forcing me to bear steel. Oh, crap. Oh, is it dual time? Yeah, we gotta press the button. Finally, the wild bull lead the charge. What goes that way? I mean, it is in a dead end, so I assume it leads somewhere. Oh, right. Gotcha, and it's daytime. Alright. Divine Dual Edge. Let's heal up Hikari first. Last thing we want is him getting in a bit of trouble. Do we have anything better for you? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, not anything that really stands out as too good for him. Oh well. Show about that! If I must. Now then, two arms. All right, hit him with it. Oh damn. Hmm. <laughs> this is what you wanted, isn't it, Ikari? Shut up, voice inside my head. Brace yourself, Prince Ikari. General Roe, the wild bull of Ku. I shall skewer you upon my horns. My turn. Na 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 na. He increased his speed. La ya na 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 na. All right, we dodged that one. Oh, you missed that one. There. Too slow. Now it begins. All right, and then we do this. All right, I forget. I forget we get more of it if we freaking do that. All right, hit him with it. We don't have defense down, but hey. There we go. Charging stance. Here I come. Charging star. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Unable to collect. Damn, he's good. Hmm. Oh, attack and physical defense of all foes. That's good to know, at least. Prepare yourself. I'll end this. Uh, let's do that. Do this. Raises our attack. I fight for my friends. Let's just do this. May my arrow strike true. Ah, decent. My throat is now starting to murder me from the inside out. As opposed from the outside end. My turn. What are you gonna do? It's not like you can kill me. Oh my god. Never mind. Okay. I regret my previous statement. What if I. What if I do a funny. What if I do this to murder you? What do you mean that didn't work? What do you mean that didn't work? What do you mean that didn't work? Oh. Stop lying 
to yourself. You want to kill him. Hikari quotation marks. You want to be bathed in this weakling's blood. Allow me to help you with that. <laughs> My blood boil. <sighs> uh, I don't wanna. Okay, maybe I do wanna actually. All right, fine. Bro held back and then he no longer did. <clears throat> oh. Oh shit. Oh no, he gonna kill. Now we got it. Finish it. Do it. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water. Paint the woods red. Calm down there. <laughs> he is struggling. How much longer will you deny your true nature? Okay, freaking jet. Str Actually, no, that's a. No, Sam wasn't like that. That was a freaking monsoon. How much longer must I tolerate this farce? Go. Oh, why? Huh. Well, he survived it. He did not get hit by it this time. I see a shadow looms at your back, Lord Hikari. Correct. Enjoy the time you have. For one day, it will consume you. No. -uh. What if I kill the sh shadow looming, o looming over me? Huh? Fall back, Captain Ritsu. What? But. Damn. Just like that, huh? Hikari. You will never be king. I'll see to it personally. Alright. Look forward to the day, bud. I'll be waiting for your homecoming. I might have to make this episode short. This is actually kind of nice. killing my throat. What happened to me? Have I lost control? This cannot stand. I won't be forced to hurt my friends again. Jeez, again? Oh! On all foes two times, huh? That's cool that we have to keep that, though. A single foe two times on all foes instead, though. Hmm. We'll get rid of that, then. Just feels like a natural progression on this one. General Rowe, why didn't you let me take his head then and there? Have you heard nothing of the accursed blood of Clan Ku? I've seen it before, in battle. Something possesses them. It has delivered many a warrior of Clan Ku from the brink of death to the crest of victory. A victory which leaves no survivors. <clears throat> Be grateful that you escaped with your life. A cursed blood? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Sounds like nonsense to me. I mean, believe what you want to believe, Regardless, but... Regardless, we have failed, His Majesty. There will be a reckoning. General. I failed no one. You were the one who showed your weakness today. Oh, are you gonna stab him in the back? Saw that coming. What? You arrogant cur. Don't dirty my name by including me in your blunder. And your reckoning has already arrived. W wait Wow, Dick. I'll apologize to his majesty on your behalf by gifting him your head. Fucking meanie. 
<sighs> now what about these horses? The deed is done. Now, what to do with all these weapons? My prince, I have no doubt your mission will go off without a hitch. And when it does... Pray, bring the weapons to the town of Ryu. I'd hate to see such fine equipment go to waste. Okay, but how do you go about doing that? We will have defanged our enemy and sharpened our talons in turn. An eagle affords himself every advantage. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like I'm just another piece in his games. No, seriously, how though? Listen, you've got to have some way that you go about actually doing that. Oh, damn. Hi, Kazan. Master Kazan! Never mind, I guess we did it somehow. Welcome, my prince. And well done on procuring those weapons. Procuring? You made me into a bandit. <laughs> but I suppose I shouldn't complain, given the results. How have your preparations gone while I was away? <laughs> I know that smile. What does that laugh mean? What is he cooking? Before us is a foe mightier than any we faced before. A man of my profession does feel stimulated by such a challenge. Okay. Reassuring words. The music. Let's have a toast, eh? Tonight we drink. We've won nothing yet. You shouldn't drink before the victors have been decided. Party pooper. If you insist, my prince. <laughs> well then, I believe you wanted to find our old friend Rhyman. Correct. Indeed. The late Lord Jigo entrusted Clan May with stewardship over an outpost on the eastern continent. Their castle lies in the snow-swept northern reaches of the region. Stormhail, it's called. Jeez, another thing we've got to go to Stormhail for? That place is packed. Like, from head to toe. Much like the snow that covers the place. Well, it... Alright, guess we've got to go on our journey to meet our next friend elsewhere at that very moment. Mugen, the new monarch of Ku, breaks the peace treaty with the neighboring nation of Sa and begins his assault. And in a matter of moments, the vast majority of Sa is overrun. I love Pokemon Conquest. Oh, damn. Treacherous coup worms! I should have known that peace was nothing but false promises! Damn. Don't be a fool. Treaties exist to be broken. He is the most odd, like, like, overly evil evil man that you could have as a it's villain simply a matter of how therein lies the art. like this dude is the basic bitch strawn like the strong survive you eat poo poo because you weak and you like peace me like war and strong so me sh me on top me king like I'm not a, against simple villains. It's just very funny at how simple he is. Majesty, but now they've been subdued. Sa shall serve us well as a base of operations. Its survivors will bolster our numbers. Kill them all. <laughs> but, Your Majesty, there are thousands. Children as well. I hate children. 
grudges they bear will become the seeds of their strength. Best to pluck them from the earth while we can. Bro, this freaking world's gonna be barren if you keep that mentality. I won't give the command again, Akeha. Of course, Your Majesty. I've got to sit down after all that hard work of telling a man to Read kill children. You're reporting. I've just returned from my duty. I have a severed head, as you love to eat, Your Majesty. And what of General Rowe? He was your leader, if I recall. He was, but he betrayed us, Your Majesty. He worked in league with Prince Hikari. Fucking liar. In secret, he told the prince about the shipment, oh, shit. allowing him to steal the weapons. I was forced to flee, but not before taking the traitor's head. Damn. Just drop that shit. Is that so? You bested the wild bull. I, I would risk Fucking... my very life if it meant one fewer traitor to your noble cause. Bruh. You literally stabbed him when he was at his weakest and freaking jumped him, basically. And yet this guy's gonna be like, hmm, you straw on me like. Well done, Ritsumi Shuyo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to just dumb down this villain so much, but come on, he's not the most complex at least. to take your throne and is gathering strength even now try as he might he is a weakling at heart believe me well you said he's a weakling at heart and yet you still said it's troubling that he's alive so I mean I don't know on that your majesty do you believe that rubbish he fed you his words are worth less than nothing. Okay. Still, his boldness is impressive. That he would not scruple to use an ally's death for his own gain. I believe I can make use of this, Ritsu Mishuyo. Okay, never mind. Change is upon us at last. He might be he might be dumb, but he's also smart. Soon. The fires of war shall engulf the world. He's evil, but he has a brain. Prince Hikari stops the clandestine deal, making his enemy's strength his own. Among their ranks was an old friend who once walked the same path as Hikari. But no longer. The dream they once shared lies shattered. Even so, Hikari must move forward. He travels east to seek out a most vital ally. Ikari the Warrior, Chapter 3, End. Clap, clap, clap. That was fun. It was short, and there wasn't even, like, a, a proper boss. It was just the duel, but, you know, fun time, fun time. All right, travel banter. We can take care of some of this while we're already here. Business takes all many forms indeed. I can't believe those instruments of death are, are in such high demand. Neither can I. I can't even imagine putting a price on such horrible tools. But I suppose as long as there's customers, anything can be sold. Apologies, Patricio. If there was a path around conflict, I would have gladly taken it. However, there is but one road available to us. If you think this is the right way, then I'm behind you. But that doesn't mean we can't start planning. Planning on how we can prosper without hurting each other. You have my thanks, Particio. The Arms Merchant. Oh, two of them. In a row. I find the history of Hinoyuma to be fascinating. I understand that the nation of Ku signed a peace treaty with their neighbor. We did. Its name is Sa. I hear it's a small nation, which makes me wonder why Ku proposed peace. 
Saw is blessed with an abundance of oases and natural resources. However, that very gift made them vulnerable to the greed of outsiders. In exchange for the protection of Ku, Saw agreed to give us a portion of their bounty. The treaty was signed during the reign of my father, Jigo. We knew peace for a time, but it but if history had a lesson to teach, it's that peace forged by the father is oft torn asunder by his children. Indeed, and Mugen pr may prove the lesson. The pages of Ku's history already stained crimson. I would see them stain no further. And so I must keep moving forward. Susume. Tatakai. Sorry. Uh... Alright. Northern Ryu Sands. Undertale. We have done a decent amount here. I mean, we got a chapter taken care of. Though there's something... The game kind of took me out of there a bit too fast. What is that? 35, 31, 29. I think, that, I think Ochet's the next stop on our list here. We've got three things up in Storm Hill. That's kind of wild. Level 31. 34. Yeah, okay. So, Ochet's content is up next. Uh, I have to look at... Hmm, I want to look at the levels of all my party. Ochet's up next, and then we have... Uh... Okay, Throne A is an option. Uh, then we have Casty. Okay, we have both of Throne A's and Casty's. So my first thought is maybe we level up. Well, we can level them up beside each other, actually. If it's Ochet that's up next, and that means that we can we can go wild on whoever else we want to brain. But first off, I want to travel back here. It's funny, my throat's feeling like it's getting better in the middle of this recording. Apparently talking more makes your throat better instead of worse. Uh, oh right, this. That's a little 35 though, it's a bit off still. I took care of that. Alright, let's figure out what we're doing here. Go to the tavern. All right, figure out what we're doing here. Cassie, I need to level up. Oh, Agnea's in dire need. I think we'll go with girl power, actually. We'll just put... We will... Yeah, we're just going to put all the girls in our party. And then we've just got to make sure that... I'm going to have to do some grinding, probably. But I think... Uh, no, Agnea's definitely needs some more. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for her second class, though. We have options now, so... Who doesn't have one equipped? Uh, I definitely want to give her something instead of nothing, at least, but... Oh, you can only have Inventor on one character. Like, there isn't even an, uh, a slot or anything. You simply just can't. That's interesting. Apothecary sounds kind of tempting, but I really have to figure out what actually works best with... I'd have to, like... It's hard figuring out what actually would work well and what I'm just kind of doing randomly. Oh, we still have to save up for more stuff. Alright, we should... Wasn't there, like, some other stuff we needed? Doombreaker... Let's get a, on you, because you're more of a physical... You're a better attacker anyways. You lose a lot of speed from this, but hey. Alright, do that. Do that. I think we're all fine on that front. Now, before we end off, we weren't allowed to fully check out to the left of that final area. 
And I'm wondering if there's some in there if it's legit just nothing. So we're going to take care of that. Oh, wow. There's like barely a difference in brightness here, but hey. Alrighty. Just gotta go over here. I don't even know if I'm getting too much from doing this, but hey. Go back here. And can we go this way? Okay, no, that is legit just an area that exists for the sake of existing. Okay, I did that for nothing. Okay, in that case... In that case, what? In that case, let's go to... Crack Ridge is where we're supposed to go, yeah? Oh, maybe... Actually, yeah, let's head over here. We haven't taken care of that yet. Uh... I think it was better for me to travel... Yeah, we'll just deal with it the long way. The first off, before we take care of that, is our last thing. It might be our last thing, but there's even more we can do before that. Tale for another day. Go to our journal. Go to Hikari. And let's see what else we got. No needless bloodshed. Might as well check them out while we're, in, while we're dealing with it. It's not every day you see a prince reduced to robbery. I will do what I must in service to a brighter future. A future without bloodshed, if I recall. I might consider living in a, in a coup where you're king. It would be nice not to smell that stench again. That it would. However, the road ahead is choked with enemies. If you walk it with me, you will witness bloodshed again. That's fine with me, as long as we get what we want at the end. Though the less blood I have to see, the better. We're of the same mind. No blood shall be spilled without purpose. Ain't that the truth. Amen to that. Alright. Memories of Ritsu. Mr. Detective Man. What's wrong, Hikari? You seem preoccupied. Ah, uh, apologies. I was just thinking of Ritsu. Since we were but children, we trained together. Always rivals in swordplay. We would spar until the sun was low in the sky. Mika would bring us rice balls. She worried we trained too hard. We would sit under the shade, eating and talking of our dreams for the future with our onigiri in hand. Pleasant memories, to be sure. Such good friends are they, as that are essential in life. Friends, we were once. Much has changed since those days. But still, we continue to swing our swords as we always have. All in service to the future we envision. I would say spit your words, King, but at the same time, he is not the kin yet. The will to heal. It will be soon enough. Just a matter of time. We have a difficult fight ahead of us. We do, but don't worry. I'll heal any wounds you may incur. Thank you, Casty. It's reassuring to have an apothecary as skilled as you in our ranks. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to serve. But do, but do my principles not vex you? I have pledged to heal any wounded, whether they be friend or foe. I have no ob objections to that. I too would rather we save lives where we can. Truth be told, Ku could use more with your principled view. Thank you. Call upon me whenever so you need. That's sweet. It's simple, but sweet. All right, and that is everything. So now all that's left is for me to meet you all over in that one place. The Lady of Grace. Here we are. All right, time to stare at a at a picture of a sexy lady. That's not a picture. That's a statue. What am I talking about? Absorb the powers. 
Windy Refrain. All right, let's check what that does real quick, since we're here. Deal wind-based damage to all foes and cause your allies to act first on the next turn. Okay, that's kind of busted. It's pricey, but I was going to say the wind, just wind-based damage to all would be kind of wacky, but the act first is pretty nice. And then stimulate, which uh, we aren't really going to need once we have, if we have windy refrain. Like, that just sounds better. Maybe it's a... Actually, no, it wasn't a boost-only skill for the other one we got, for the other ones we've gotten so far. Like this, like Indomitable Beast isn't that, it's just a bit pricey. Well, that's something good to know. Alright, well, that's everything I really wanted to do for today. So next time on Octopath Traveler 2... I guess we can travel there, we just, you know, don't actually press the star button on all this. Uh, oh. I guess we have to press the... The game isn't giving it to me right now, at least, so... I guess I can do a bit of... a bit more grinding. Two of our characters are basically high enough level, but the rest could use some work. Huh. But yeah. I'd say we've done a lot of progress for today. And next time on Octopath Traveler 2, we'll get started on another part of Ochette's story. Adios, ciao, and bye bye. Thanks for watching, and adios. Signing off until next time. Ja, matane. <laughs>